Hello everyone! Today we'll have a new lesson about Microsoft Word, View tab, and Functions. The View tab lets view your document at 50 or 150% or in different layouts. This tab provides commands previously found in the View menu and Window menu. The View tab has the Views part. This co contains all the commands relating to the different ways you can view your documents. Read Mode In 2010, this was called Full Screen Reading. Maximizes the word window on the screen and removals all toolbars, etc. to allow easy reading. Print Layout Displays the document as it would appear if printed and is the default view. Web layout displays the document as it would appear as a web page. Outline displays the document as an outline. It displays the outlining contextual tab. Drop displays the document in drop mode, allowing for quick editing. When using this view, certain aspects of the document are not visible. For example, any headers or footers. How about the immersive part? This group was added in 2016 and it includes learning tools. Next, the show part. It includes ruler that toggles the display of the rulers, grid lines, toggles the display of grid lines, navigation pane that was added in 2010, toggles the display of the navigation task pane. This is a combination of the fine document map and thumbnails. Message bar that was removed in 2010 toggles whether the message bar is used, while the document map that was removed in 2010 toggles the display of the document map task pane. This task pane was replaced with the navigation task pane in 2010. Thumbnails that was removed in 2010 Toggles the display of the thumbnails task pane. This task pane was replaced with the navigation task pane in 2010. How about the zoom part? Everything relating to adjusting the display percentage of the active document. There is also a new zoom slider in the bottom right corner next to the status bar. The zoom displays the zoom dialog box. This can also be accessed from the status bar by clicking on the view percentage. 100% Adjust the zoom to 100% of its normal size, lets you quickly return to 100%. One page Adjust the zoom so an entire page fits in the application window. Two pages Adjust the zoom so two in Enter pages fit in the application window. Page width. Adjust the zoom so the width of the page is the same as the width of the application window. Let's talk about the window part. Every document you open in a Word can be thought of as a window. It is possible to open multiple windows of the same document. New window. Let's create a new window of the active document. Arrange all. Tile all the open windows side by side on the screen. This will also maximize the application or document to a full screen. Split. It splits the current window into two parts. View side by side. Displays two documents side by side so they can be easily compared. If you have more than two documents, open the Compare Side-by-Side -side dialog box it is displayed so you can choose which document to display next to the active document, allowing you to scroll multiple windows at the same time. Synchronous Scrolling it toggles the synchronized scrolling of the two documents that are displayed side-by-side. -side. This is only enabled when you are viewing two documents side-by-side. -side. Reset window position. Resets the window's position so they take up the same amount of space on the screen when two documents are displayed side by side. 
This is only enabled when you are viewing two documents side by side. Switch Windows drop down lets you switch between all the currently active documents. This display all the window or documents that are currently open in the particular session. Previously, these were displayed on the window menu. Let's talk about the macros part. Macros button we drop down. The button is the view macros command and displays the macros dialog box. The drop down contains the commands view macros, record macro, and pulse recording. If you want to edit macros or do anything more complicated, then you should have the developer tab displayed as well. And how about the SharePoint? This group was added in 2016. It includes properties. So that's all the ideas about the Microsoft Word View tab and functions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.